Hi family, welcome. My name is Bruno Lompofu and if this is your first time, thank you so much for watching. So today I'll be talking about the power of the word. Um, it's so amazing that we know this. We know that the word has power and we know that the Bible says the power of life and death is in our tongue. But why do we not reference the word every time we speak? Why is it our words are empty of the word that is so powerful? So today I just wanted us to speak about the power of the word and why everything we say must be backed up by scripture. One, we do not talk out of turn because your words are backed up by something that is powerful and something that is very effective, which is the word of God. So even the Bible says, do not entertain yourself in sitting among the scoffers or the gossipers because their words, they come to nothing. Their gathering of talking, it comes to nothing. Every time we speak, we must reference the word because the word of God is our guide. The word of God is filled with the Holy Spirit that the Holy Spirit guides us to all truth. So whatever you say, when you say it, be sure that it is backed up by scripture. If you're going to say to your friend, I hope you get well soon. You must back it up by scripture by saying by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. Therefore, I believe that you have gotten better. If you are wishing someone a happy birthday, then you tell them that he has your name in the palms of his hands. He knows your coming in and your going out. For you are the child of God. He has plans to prosper you and not to harm you. When you're speaking to someone about things that pertain to the world, find a scripture that you make sure that you are not in the lines of gossiping. You are not in the spaces where you are speaking your own mind. It's just something that has been on my spirit since I'm doing the Bible reading challenge. Please go check it out. I've started with Matthew. We're currently on Matthew 5 right now. When you start reading the Bible, you speak power because the Bible says the power of life and death lies on our tongue. So it means everything that we say, we must utilize the tools that have the power to make things that we say effective. If you're going to pray for someone who's sick, when you speak the word, don't speak the word that comes to your mouth. Yes, you can speak things, but beg those words with the word of God that God has destined for you to live and not to die. He said, I've come that ye might have life and life in abundance. When you see that when you get sick, you speak words to yourself to say, with long life, he will satisfy me. He said he knows the number of hairs on my head. Therefore, he knows my desires. So this is how we speak as Christians. You never ever utter a word without referencing scriptures. If you are in a conversation you can reference the word of god that you know the scriptures that you know within your conversation you don't have to say and the bible says or matthew says but use the words of god because the words of god they are sure the bible says that the words of god he, they go out and do what he has said them to do and they never return to him void so if those words are that powerful as we evangelize that they are then they should be our daily bread then they should be daily on our lips the bible said let these words not depart your mouth meditate on them day and night so family, if we want to be effective Christians, if we want to be Christians that are doing great things for God, let us use his words to back up our words because our words on their own, they are void. We are just wasting air. But when we speak the word of God, God has blessed his word and he has even put his word above himself. This is the word of God. When we say greater is he that is in me, then the one who's in you is supposed to speak through you. Our family really today is just a short message to say, back up your words with the words of God and you will see the supernatural power of God. When you speak something, and you speak it with the word of God, things will begin to happen. I am talking about things I've seen for myself. That every time I speak and I back up my words with the word of God and in context with what the word of God means, I have seen the supernatural. I have seen God do things that I've never experienced before because the power is in the word 
of God, not in our words, the words that we think of, not in our intelligence. The Bible says we should not think anything of ourselves to think that we are self-sufficient, but our sufficiency is of God. So the Bible says we are firmly established in righteousness. We are far from even the thought of oppression. How? By speaking this word day and night. Every time you speak, create the habit to back your words up with scripture. Family, with all of that, let us close. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your word, O oh God. And I thank you for your presence in this moment. I thank you, O oh God, that you gave us your word, that Mudimwaka, we might show the supernatural heavenly things, Mudimwaka, because your word says, let it be on earth as it is in heaven. And in heaven, my God, it's a heavenly language. And on earth, my Father, we ask my God that you give us the grace to speak your word, to back up our words, with your scripture in context. Lord, I thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Love you. Bye.